using array in in Excel VBA to calculate to calculate the hexane plus now by writing a code so now what I, what I want to do is I want to calculate the properties of this hexane that is the hexane plus from here down to this place now what I will do now is to sum from here down here and you use it to solve I will sum from here down the same thing I will also sum from here down I will use it to make calculations although I have already calculated volumes so I will just sum the volumes from here down from the hexane down so to get the hexane plus the properties of the hexane plus for this gas so that that will be properly done on its own so now what I'm doing in essence is I will write a dynamic array that will sort and get the location of this where this is and from here it will just calculate down right calculate from here down and use that those values it get it, it, it obtained now it's calculate from here down and those values it obtained it will use it to make some calculations so that is what we want to do in essence now let's go into the visual um, um, Visual Basic Environment to run this. Let's open. Now, let me define a variable that I'm going to use. Let me say R. Let me add it here somewhere here. Mm. Okay, I'm going to use a counter. Let's say comma counter. I'm also going to use. B should be a string, so let go. Where will I put the B then? B should be a string or R. Let me call it R, the variable R. So I'll say D R a string. Press the tab key. Uh, let me let me use B. Use B or A. I hope I've not used A before. Let me use A now. I will just write, I'll say for each A in in let's say sheets inputs. Get input dot range bracket open quotation mark quotation mark so I'm using a three comma range brackets open a three bracket close dot and to press the top key excel down press the top key close so I've gotten that so each value of um, for each value for each a in In this, then I'll enter. I'll say next a. I wanna say if I 
shall say if the whole of this copy is equal to n dash c7 this is equal to this then go to i'll use my name now go to uche now then go to uche so i will now use not type which column now what will happen now when you have that but before that i'm going to be counting now in this since we don't have this i will be counting i'll be counting this because i want to use i want to know I want to know the position of I want to know the position of C that is I want to know its full position of HEP10 I want to know its position using this now I haven't known if I know the position I now need to calculate I need to calculate the mole, the total mole. So what I'll call it now is total, total mole. Total mole of seven, seven plus. So total mole of seven plus. Just copy this equal to the control page, control V paste plus more brackets open I comma one. Now, having done this, I need that. I need to say for I equal to count to row count. Now we gotten this. Now the same next I this next should be this next should be here and the next should be here this next a we were done here to come this place now this should be next i that should be next I. So, I haven't known the more, the more like calculate for the more. I also need to calculate for the mass. Ah, no, no, no. On you, so I'll copy this. Paste. Change this to mass. Now I'll just copy this and replace this other one with it. I replace this total more plus total more into now it's replace it with total mass seven plus so and this should be mass. Now we have calculated the total mass. 
to tableau we also need to calculate the total volume total volume mm, is very very well for volume for seven plus and it's exam plus for exam plus so now I copy this now C equal to plus volume I comma one now we know volume uh, where is it? We know the volume. I haven't gotten all this information. We can now use it to now, but before that, let me copy this go i need to define it it's not defined yet so it, sh it should be double i need to add it here comma now i also need to copy this define it again just add it up here and we also need to define this So the the molecular the molecular weights of of seven plus what have you go to let me just put one there we go to mass divide by let me just put one there divide by more divide by two times more copy and paste so No. Now I'll just say that I will now say the density of heptane. When I say heptane, let me just say seven plus seven. I have 10 plus 7 plus will be equal to this of F 10 plus will be equal to let me just put one here will be equal to the total mass divided by the total volume so what again do we need to calculate for this yes okay we have calculated more mass calculated um, molecular weights 
and the density of the okay now let's define this this variable variable should be double we define it here since it's double this also should be double mm, double let's sit here now we have defined all this now we'll go to this this sheet I need to copy the whole of this. Uh, copy the whole of this. Copy paste. No. I need to pull the moles first now. We have this offsets this should be six this is six now anyway if you want to know how this how I got all these other codes you go to you go to my video which is um at, which is array in Excel VBA now for calculating the molecular weight of a gas mixture that is where you get this video okay maybe I will put the link below below in the description below I'll put the link there so you can go there and watch the way these videos this other information is being gotten so that you will follow along i will put the link of the of the, the video that will explain that so now well let's continue with this now i will replace this with i will call it um i'll call it more of have F10 F10 plus call it more moles of F10 plus so now here it will not be I'll just copy this and replace this with it paste now I will do same to this other one. Let me just copy this. Copy. Paste. I will change this to seven. Change this to seven. Now. I will now add in this other one I will just call it mass the mass of a 10 plus now this will be changed to this value here now copy this again paste this will be changed to 8 this value here will be changed to 8 now I will change this to I will change it to molecular 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 weight Weight of example, so 
when I change this value with this change the value here with this value and now I press shift tab shift tab to copy this paste shift tab so change this to 9 change this to 9 and then come here change this to density density of website F10 I'll come here copy this paste Now let's debug this and see if let me put a break here. Let me debug to see if there is any error somewhere. I'll just press F5. Okay. For each control variable was variable. Okay. That means I supposed to put it here because here is a variable okay now let's run it again to see what happened mm. Okay, this is wrong sorry if if a this should be if a is equal to this then let me see okay it has wrong so let's let's look at the local window so what is our what is our counter system correct let me take this up a little now what is our total more things what is the correct density 0 0.7 right correct so so we are done with this so now the more the gas density the gas is this okay now let's remove the break let's go back to now let me let me reset so let's go back to excel now look at the values are given here now you have the moves of absent pluses things the the moves of F10 plus is the, so the mass of the F10 plus is this the the molecular weight of of it is this now I think I should put not the mass, I should put mass percent of examples. That is what should come from. So I should I have to change this to let me see. Well done. Okay, mass percent is there. So I need to change this to mass percent. Because they don't need the mass of the okay. I also I need the mass of this. So now I need to change this to copy this copy let me put it here so now total 
mass percent of exam plus total mass percent of exam plus mass percent let me press control control space to complete it so so this is it so now let me now press shift tab okay to bring it back so now i need to define this i need to define it let me copy it and go to Mm. I will define it here. Just say comma, enter. Now, having defined that, having defined that, so oh, now let me copy it. That is what I will use to replace this here. Replace, where is it? Replace X. Then I will just change this to mass percent. Now let's go back. Go back to input. Now let's make calculation. Use calculate again. So this will be more. Okay, look at the more percent now. Six point two seven. Six point two seven nine eight. So now this is the more. The mole of example so meaning if you add from here down to this will it give us one point will it now well, let me check from here to here sixteen okay start solving from 16 okay this is the density this is uh, okay good to go good to go that is correct now we have the molecular weight of a 10 plus we have the density of a 10 plus which is 0 0.79 7971 so correct let me Let's go back on the let me just sum this. Let me sum it. Let's attack here. the summation of from here to here. Let me see what gives me. Give me one point. 1.15 correct so this is 1.15 so it's correct so that is it so now we just have gotten the value we want so so good to go good to go thank you for watching have a nice day if you enjoy if you enjoy the video please do well to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell do want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so anytime i make new videos you'll be the first to see it thank you and also do well to help to share the video thank you